Learning Science. In this video, I'm going to show you how memories are formed in our brain. So let's begin with the origin, the five senses. Traditionally, the five human senses are the sense of sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Well, yes, we all know these senses are not the only one we use to feel the environment. But the aim of this video is mainly demonstrating the relationship of senses and memory. So for now, we will just keep things simple. Imagine there is this red apple in front of you. From our eyes, we see its shape, a stalk on top, and a lovely red color. With our hands, we can also feel the smooth texture. Now, put it near and into your mouth. Your nose and tongue could then smell and taste the sour and sweetness. All of these senses are sent as signals to the same part of brain through different cellular pathways. When same group of cells are activated together frequently, the connections between them grow stronger. So now let's call this a network. What a network does is that even only some of the cells are activated. Other cells in the same network with strong connections between them would also be activated. And this is the condition to form memory. For example, when you see an outline like this, your eyes sense it and activates the corresponding cell in the brain. The other cells in the same network connected strongly with the cell are then activated too. This gives you the feeling that maybe it has a red color, it may taste and smell sweet, and the texture may be smooth in the reality. But then what makes it A-P-P-L-E apple? Well, since we were a child, we often see the word apple appear with it. And we always hear people calling it apple. So after years and years, the network of the word apple is then connected strongly with the network of apple. As you can see, these connections let existing networks expand and link to other knowledge. For learning, these strong linkages are important to record memory. For instance, let's say this is the first time you see a strawberry. You know that it got a similar red color of an apple. By thinking apple and strawberry looks alike in terms of their color repeatedly, you would build up a strong connection between the network of strawberry and apple by their color. So next time, when people ask you what food got a similar color with an apple, you can easily recall strawberry when you think of their information red. So to learn better and have a better memory, we should build more connections between our past experience and the new knowledge. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you now catch the idea of how memories are formed inside our brain. In the next one, I will show you how an other important sense of us contributes to learning.